Hey, it's Gabe with the API Nation. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync Google Contacts with Mojo Dialer. So those leads from Mojo Dialer can automatically get saved to your phone. Mojo Dialer is a super powerful tool. They have a triple line dialer feature so you can dial through your prospects and leads three times faster than you could on your normal phone or using a single line dialer. Let me show you what it looks like once you have this sync set up. So you're here in Mojo, you've made your great call and you wanna send it over to the connected app. All you do is click this drop down under actions and you're gonna click send to API Nation. That's gonna send it immediately to the connected app through API Nation. And if you wanna check on what's going on with the sync, you can always click on this integrations tab and it's gonna show you the complete history of how often that has gotten synced to your connected app. Also, because it is synced, it's synced in real time. So any changes you make to this contact now in Mojo will continue to update this contact in your connected app. Let me show you how to set up this integration. First thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and you're gonna click on start syncing. There is gonna take you to a page full of apps, marketing apps, productivity apps, real estate apps. You're gonna scroll on down till you get to M4 Mojo Dialer and click on that. Once you click on Mojo, you're gonna see all the apps you can sync with Mojo Dialer. You're gonna scroll on down to Google Contacts right here, click on that. And you're gonna see the sync option here is to sync Mojo Contacts to Google Contacts. That's exactly what we want, so we're gonna activate this sync. And the first step is to sign into our API Nation account. If you don't have one, you can create one just by clicking here, or you can sign in with your Google account if you want, which is what I'm gonna do. Once you're signed in, now we're gonna connect both apps. I'm gonna connect Mojo, I just hit this button. It's gonna take me out to the Mojo website. I'll sign in and that's it, that makes the connection. Similar thing with Google Contacts, hit the big connect button, choose the Google account you want, sign on into it and that makes the connection to Google Contacts. Now there's just a few options for setting up the sync. The first is the group filter. So you can select all and it's gonna sync over any contact assigned to a group where you click that send to API Nation button. It'll send it over to Google Contacts. That sounds good to me for right now. I'm gonna come down here and it says, do you wanna label it? Google Contacts manages their contacts using labels. So if I want it, I can go ahead and put it in a label. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in default. It's just gonna drop it in my Google Contacts. And then finally, as it gets added to Google Contacts, do you want it to overwrite the information? Or you can click here and say, don't overwrite any information. Just fill in any blank fields. I actually want it to overwrite information. I'll show you why in a second. I'm gonna hit subscribe and it's gonna create the sync with all the options we just set up. So it's gonna look at all the groups and anybody we click that says send to API Nation, it's gonna go on in there. Come down here, there's that filter. If you want to filter any of the Mojo contacts, you can based on the stuff in Mojo. So for example, if you write in priority note, the word sync, then it'll pick it up and sync it over. This is pretty unusual. I would just suggest going with no filter and just managing things with that send to API Nation button. The more important thing here is the mapping. So you can see there's phone, email, first name, last name, middle name. We do most of this stuff for you. Work phone, home phone. If there's anything else you wanted to add, for example, maybe for pager phone or other phone, I could hit plus, search for other phone, and drop in that additional other phones. This all looks good though. The address is coming in here. The notes, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the notes in here from Mojo, that way I'll have the notes in my Google contacts, my Gmail contacts. This looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this sync. And that's it, the sync is now up and running. Another way you could set this up is if you wanted, instead of syncing over the entire group and just putting them in Google Contacts in a default label, you could actually match up the groups to labels in Google Contacts. So that would look like saying, all right, just go with hot leads. So if I put them in the hot lead group and click the send API nation button, they're gonna go into Google Contacts and I would create a folder called maybe like Mojo Hot Leads. There we go. This all looks good. And then I would just go ahead and activate that sync. And you could do this for each group. You would just hit this clone button up at the top, clone this sync. It's gonna create the exact same sync with the exact same connections. I would just change the group name, 
So instead of hot lead, now we're gonna do uh, recruits and then change the folder. Create a new folder, recruits, mojo recruits. And then I might even change the sync name just so I remember what it does, recruits. And then activate that sync. And then I would continue to clone it for each group that I want synced into a particular label in Google Contacts. So that's it. That's it, that's how you set up the sync. Now you're gonna be able to dial through and prospect three times faster. It's super easy to set up and you're gonna be able to create more deals. If you have any questions or need any help setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation and we are connecting the world's applications.